Hey guys, how are you today? My name is Darian Ellis here with the Houston 100 powered by the Minority Report. Today, my guest is the amazing and talented Gus Lawrenson, owner and CEO of Fever Images. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, thank you for the introduction. I really appreciate it. Ah, you're amazing. I sound really established right now. <laughs> you are <Very> established, <laughs> being modest. <laughs> but um, thank you again just for joining me. I want to talk about what it means to be an entrepreneur while living in your creative craft. I think that's so yeah. important. You know, it's the best thing because uh, doing what you love to do, mm -hmm. it doesn't feel like work. Ah, I like you that. Know, it, you, you're doing what you want to do, mm -hmm. you know, on your time. Sometime on the client's time, but, you know. <laughs> on your time. So you're an amazing photographer. Tell Thank me you. about your passion for photography and how that started. Oh, man. The way it started, um, I was in college, mm -hmm. and a roommate of mine, which is my really good friend now, he was a photographer. Mm. Um, so I liked how he was doing certain things, and then I just I took it from there. Oh, amazing. Yeah, yeah, so, so tell me about that first photo shoot or that first job that you landed that you knew, like, okay, this is where I'm exactly, this is where I'm supposed to be. Okay, so last year, because it was always a hobby, mm -hmm. and last year I did the Millennium Tour with B2K. Yes. So I was part of the Ying Yang Twins management team okay. at the time. And this one particular uh, concert date, Lloyd, you know, the army singer, mm -hmm. he came in the, um, in the dressing room. And I showed him an image of him on stage. Wow. And then he freaked out. Wow. And following from there, you know, he gave me some good advice and, he, you know, told me how, you know, nice my pictures look, how I make him look and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And then a couple of days later, you know, his mother hits me up on Instagram. Wow. So we, myself and his mother spoke a few times or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And from then I started to believe the hype, you know. I was like, I can do this. I can do this. Yeah. So I just went from there. So uh, speaking to becoming an entrepreneur, I know for me as a model and then changing into, you know, my career and, and, mm. and you know, it's not just a hobby anymore. Now I have to develop a business around yeah. this. Can you please talk to us and other photographers out there who are interested? Like, I love to do this, but how do I make money? Yeah, and that's exactly where I am right now. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is that what I realize about life is that the more you pursue something, mm -hmm. the more you put your time and dedication in it, mm -hmm. eventually it kind of falls in your lap. Mm. So you run into those great business people who turn your your uh, passion into finance. I like that. So to speak. So, okay. Yeah. So who would you say, if you had the opportunity, who would be ah. your dream client? Like some, or, or oh, man. an event, an event, you know, that you would just love to be a part of Jesus. And, and photograph. We, we just spoke about that on myself and my lady. And one of my dream people, which she's not here no more, was Aaliyah. Oh, wow. And the next year I met Genuine. But my mm. dream person right now. The one you would just ah, love. Rihanna. Yeah, why? Because, and that's a great question, because her her uh, creative, her camp, mm -hmm. her team, they're so creative. Mm -hmm. They're so creative. Everything they touch is just glitz to glamour. And I want to be a part of, if not that, mm -hmm. something like that. I see. Or to even create that. Okay. But Rihanna's team, definitely. I see. So I know that um, you do a lot of runway work. And yeah. also photo shoots. Who would you say are some of your greatest uh, photographer, uh, photograph, I'm sorry, inspirations? Hmm. Oh, you know what? That's another great question. I'm looking at right now, I'm studying Peter Lindbergh. Mm. Peter Lindbergh has been in the industry for many years. Mm -hmm. And what made me gravitate towards Peter is that um, he, he has some of the same philosophies that I have. Like what? Without me realizing it. He just looks for that moment. Mm. He don't he don't create the moment. Mm -hmm. He just looks for it. I see. And that moment that's so authentic, once you catch it mm -hmm. and nobody else caught it, I see. You got something. Okay. Well, I, I really like that. So what would you say were some of your greatest challenges while you were building your business and building your brand? Uh, educating clients on why you need to keep the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, I always tell them that, look, you can't exactly go into Walmart, take groceries and not pay for it. True. You know, so don't treat me like that. 
I like that. I respect my craft and I mm -hmm. respect your moments. I you like know. that. Well, this is just this has been amazing for me. What have you learned most about yourself, Gus, while while you know developing your craft, building your business? What have you learned most about yourself? What I learned the most about myself is that I just stumble on those moments. Mm -hmm. I, I you know, and I didn't realize how much my passion, how big my passion was, you know, um, until I, it's like now I'll look at movies and, mm -hmm. and I'm studying how it's being edited. Mm -hmm. So I'm editing the movies in my head mm -hmm. and I take those effects and put it, you know, into my images. Okay. So I don't know if that answers your question. No, that was, that was perfect. <laughs> I look at movies different though. Where do you see Forever Images being in the next five to ten years? What do you want to do with that? Oh man, my empire. Well, mm -hmm. uh, in the next five years, what I'm trying, what I'm doing right there now. You go, speak it. Yeah, um, I am creating a pilot. Okay. Because I'm this coming up with a with a TV show. Okay. And I'm gonna pitch it to different networks. Um, so I had this, I had this uh, TV show that's. It's been burning in my in my uh, spirit like for the past few years. I'm looking forward to that because yeah. I know you're going to be amazing. I thank can't you. wait to thank see you. that. So that. again, uh, just thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, I really appreciate this. I feel Hollywood to me. You are. <laughs> <laughs> so please tell our viewers where they can find you and and book you for because you need to book him. Okay. It's amazing. So you can book me on. I mean, you can see me on Instagram. That's Fervor Images, and that's F E R V O R underscore Images. That's on Instagram. On my Facebook is Fervor Images LLC, oh, and Twitter so Fervor Images. Amazing. Thank and my you. website www.fervorimages.com. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Gus. Thank this you. Has been I appreciate a, it. Oh, a I pleasure it. for me. So again, my name is Darian Ellis, and I'm here with the Houston 100. Stay tuned.